Hi everyone, you're watching The Ren and Lee Show. I'm Ren. And I'm Lee. And it's our first show for 2007. We're Yay! Going to, yay! <laughs> We're going to do things a little bit differently. We've got some video buyers that are going to be online soon, so you'll get mm -hmm. to find out all sorts of things like crimes we haven't been caught for and when we lost our virginity. <gasps> we think that's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, we thought we might kick off uh, this show with Miss Potter, the new yeah. Renee Zellweger movie. Now, I haven't seen this one, but Renee has, so I'm going to ask you, Renee, what is it about? I haven't heard much about it. Miss Potter, very boring title. Mm. It is the life and times of Beatrix Potter, who's the most famous and best-selling children's author of all time. But she made the rabbit. Yeah. Yeah. Peter Rabbit. Peter Rabbit. Come, not Cuddle Pie. What's that Puddle Duck character? Yeah. They're very sort of cutesy, too cutesy for me. The characters. <laughs> but she was born in the Victorian era when um, women didn't really have their own careers and they got married, and she did none of those. That's why it's kind of rebellious, it's kind of radical. Mm. Renee Zellweger stars in the lead role and she's looking frumpier and uglier than even in Bridget Jones's diary. Really? Yeah. I didn't think that was possible. But I teared <laughs> up something, <laughs> it's possible. I teared up something shocking during this film because there is a heartbreaking scene in it and I went through two tissues which oh. really surprised me. So who do you think would enjoy this film? Not kids, even if you loved, even if you're a small person and you love the Peter Rabbit characters. Yeah. It's very much an adult film about her life and her loves and mm. the lack thereof. Is it a chick flick or a guy film? Definitely a chick flick. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so is it any good? Mm. What, what, do you, what do you think about it? I thought it would be crap, yeah. but it turned out to be better than expected. And oh, it's cool. also directed by the guy who made one of the Babe films, not George Miller. And yeah, it's, it's a good chick flick. Mm. Cool. Might go see that one then. <laughs> You'll love it. I was watching Movie One on TV this week. That's an Australian pay TV channel on Foxtel. And I noticed that there's two very different films with two very different blondes. It was Just Like Heaven with Reese Witherspoon and House of Wax with Paris Hilton. And being a blonde myself, it got me thinking, who do you think is the most successful blonde? If we weigh the two up, on one hand, you've got Reese Witherspoon, who's an Oscar-winning actress, while Paris Hilton pretty much has no talent whatsoever. Reese Witherspoon can command up to 30 million US dollars per movie, while Paris Hilton gets paid half a million dollars just to turn up to a nightclub and wave. Reese Witherspoon won the Oscar for Singing Like June Carter, where Paris Hilton coined the phrase, that's hot. Now, both of them have millions of dollars, but who do you think is most successful? The Oscar-winning actress or the socialite? Drop us a line on our website, renandleeshow.blogspot.com, and let us know. And also, Godfather, I'd like you to drop a line too. Let me know what you think. <laughs> The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe is supposed to be the kids' version of Lord of the Rings. It's a bit softer and not as scary. But I just want to point out a few things and see what you think. When a bunch of kids go to the back of a wardrobe and then end up in all this white powder, that makes me think, hmm, drug dealing house, pile of cocaine stashed in the back of the wardrobe. Then these kids go wandering off and the littlest girl hooks up with a half man, half animal who lures her back to his home and then gives her some kind of potion. She falls asleep, wakes up and she's all... Now is this potion supposed to be like the equivalent of the date rape drug row hypnol? What was she doing as a minor with a man, a strange man in his home and he was half beast? Oh. And don't even get me started on the ice queen covered in crystal meth. What's that about? Chronicles of Narnia, a kid's film. What do you think? Please drop us a line at therenandleeshow.blogspot.com and tell me if I'm <laughs> mad or if I've got a point. That's Ren's rant. Well, that's it for our first show for 2007. Don't yep. forget to go visit our website if you want to um, contact us at any time. It is. Ready? Yeah. The Ren and Lee Show dot blogspot dot com. Or if you're on YouTube, drop us a line down in the comments box because we love to read all about them. Yes, we want more comments, we want more feedback, so yeah. knock yourselves out. You'll get to know us a bit more again, as I said about when we put the video bios 
mm. to air. So stay tuned. Stay tuned for that. Until then, we'll see you soon. Check Bye. Ya. That's all right. That's it.